Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Tonight, sometimes you wonder just how filthy and dishonest our news media are. You'll be in the shower and you'll think they're bad, but how bad are they? Well, here's one measure of their badness. You can try this at home. Ask yourself, is any news organization you know of so corrupt that it's willing to hurt you on behalf of its biggest advertisers? Anyone who do that is obviously Pablo Escobar level corrupt and should not be trusted. What would that look like? That level of corruption. Well, imagine that the Trump administration had made it mandatory for American citizens to buy my pillow. That's one of Fox News's biggest advertisers. Imagine the administration declared that if you didn't rush out and buy at least one my pillow and then at least another booster pillow, you would not be allowed to eat out. You couldn't re-enter your own country. You couldn't have a paying job. My pillow, they told you with a straight face, was the very linchpin of our country's public health system. Now imagine, as they told you that, that Fox, as a news organization, endorsed it, amplified the government's message. Imagine if Fox News attacked anyone who refused to buy my pillow as an ally of Russia, as an enemy of science. And then imagine that Fox kept up those libelous attacks, even as evidence mounted that my pillow caused heart attacks, fertility problems, and death. If Fox News did that, what would you think of Fox News? Would you trust us? Of course you wouldn't. You would know that we were liars. Thank heaven Fox News never did anything like that. But the other channels did. The other channels took hundreds of millions of dollars from big pharma companies. And then they shilled for their sketchy products on the air. And as they did that, they maligned anyone who was skeptical of those products. At the very least, this was a moral crime. It was disgusting. But it was universal. It happened across the American news media. They all did it. So at this point, the question isn't who in public life is corrupt, too many to count. The question is, who is telling the truth?